And so the Memphis police, right? Memphis ATF, Memphis, whatever police down there, right? They were quick to do a press conference when they caught straight job, right? Quick as hell to do that. We caught our guy. Come to find out an individual who may have some key information has disappeared. Has gone vamoose. He, he's no longer in the picture right now. How could that happen? You cannot make this shit up, man. The guy that might have a lot of information to help this case, right? He is sticking by the no snitch code. I'm out of here. Catch me if you can. A suspect believed to be involved in the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph is still on the run. He was arrested in Indiana, released, and then never brought back to Memphis for extradition. Action News 5's Ariana Poindexter has been digging into this case and joins us in the studio with the very latest. Ariana. Well, Kanji, Shondell Barnett was arrested in Indiana on January 11th, but released on January 21st without extradition to Memphis. I've been reaching out to different law enforcement agencies all day, working to find out what led to his release. It's been four months since Memphis rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed outside a local cookie shop. Since then, two suspects have been arrested in connection to his murder. And now a warrant is out for a third suspect, Shondell Barnett. Barnett is charged with being an accessory after the fact of first degree murder after allegedly helping Justin Johnson, one of the men accused of killing Young Dolph after the murder. Deputies in Clay County, Indiana say Barnett and Johnson were arrested on January 11th at a truck stop. Johnson was extradited to Memphis while Barnett was released on January 21st. Action News 5 reached out to the U.S. Marshals, Memphis Police and Shelby County District Attorney General Amy Ryrick to clarify why Barnett was let go. When asked at a press conference Thursday, District Attorney Amy Wyrick had this to say. I can't because it's a pending case. It is a pending investigation. It is a pending prosecution, and we can't get into that at this time. When we can, we will answer all of those questions that I know the public has. But Meanwhile, Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis says she's grateful for the community's help in solving murders like this. A lot of the success that we had even in the Young Dolph case and some of the other cases is that our community members are providing information about criminal activity in their neighborhoods. I quite frankly believe that some of our community members have had it enough and they want to be more engaged too. So so where is Sundell Barnett? We know he's from Texas. Where can this guy be hiding out? Where is he at, man? Where is this guy at? And it kind of shows you how the police, right? They are so quick to take credit when they find somebody. But they pass the blame when something like this happened. Don't nobody know where this guy is at. He's been gone since January the 21st. It's a month later. It's February. How much money does this guy have? Where is he hiding now? Who is helping him? That's a question that needs to be asked. Who is helping this guy right here? Who knows, man? This story is crazy. I heard it. Streets may be helping him, or he 